Oh, hello again, and welcome to the VK6ES Fun with Amateur Radio Channel. Now, uh, what I did, rather than muck around with that other choke, I thought, well, I've got another core here. It's actually a uh, toroidal core. That yellow toroidal core there. So I wound it about half full. And uh, I did exactly what I did with the previous RF choke. I stuck it on the, uh, the antenna analyzer just to see if there was any, any resonances anywhere that were that could be of concern. So, uh, and there were, and they were in about the same place. So what I did was I took, uh, I took some turns off of the, uh, of the choke to shift the resonant point higher in frequency. So what I've actually done, let's zoom that in a bit, so I've got the 50 meg sweep width, and you can just see there's something just in the corner there. It's just just a little hump in the corner there. If you go down to, you can see the frequency changing there, 9, 7, nothing on 80, all the way down to 1 meg, there's nothing there. We get up to here, and I managed to get this point here just outside of the frequencies of interest. So I'll just wind it up there. So it starts to have an effect on 30.8 megs. 30.7 megs. And it's much less of an effect than on the other choke. Centered on 37 megs. Not interested in 37 megs, and there we go, 48.6 megs, 48 megs. So that little uh, that little hump there falls between 10 meters and 6 meters. So I can use that choke with no problems at all because some are going to be interested in using it up here if I can get it to run on 6 metres as you can see, it's one out of the way and the other side of that is uh, 10 metres and 10 metres doesn't go up to 30 megs, does it? Oh, I should have just moved that over just to make that a little bit quicker but you can see where I'm going with that okay, so that is well out of my area of interest. So uh, I can strap that choke across the output of the amplifier and know that uh, it's not going to interfere with the, uh, the performance of the amplifier on any of the bands uh, that I'm interested in. And uh, um, Simon, one of the regular viewers, asked um, how I could uh, move that, um, that point. So that's how you do it, Simon. So if it was on 29 megs, take, take, a few, take a few turns off the choke and the resonance, the resonance point will go higher in frequency. And it's just a case of taking the turns off the choke until it falls within, uh, uh, and it falls in an area that uh, um, is of no interest, which is, uh, which is what I've done with that choke there. I don't know why I didn't do that with the other choke, to be honest, but I just thought, ah, rather than fiddle around with it, I'll just wind a, I'll wind a choke on another core that I had lying around and um, then I started fiddling around with that one so that's the one that uh, that's the one that I'll use um, okay well as always hope you found that interesting or informative or both thanks for watching I'll catch you next time